give us a brief introduction to the image facility. Yes, so I'm the technical coordinator in the Novo Nordisk Foundation Center for Protein Research and Danish Stem Cell Center in Copenhagen. And which innovations in confocal microscopy have helped you to pursue new research approaches? Um, it's better for us, especially the, the matrix screening software was really relevant because it uh, just gives us the biggest and easiest flexibility we can have to set up different imaging parameters and to check different uh, conditions on one, for example, multiple plate or on one sample. Could you tell us a little bit more about the uh, experiments you did with matrix screener? Yeah, so we have uh, multi-wall plates where we have these uh, Psi 2 patterns where our cells are growing and uh, we can define several templates, different templates and we can define especially to which kind of positions we want to go and again assign different imaging parameters to different worlds and thereby find out which imaging conditions are best suitable for our setup and thereby we save a lot of time because everything is automated. We just assign the different parameters and we let it go and we can go home and the imaging is done automatically. So this saved us a lot of time and effort as well. Are there still some challenges using these techniques? It, it gives you a huge flexibility, of course, and with all the flexibility you get, from, from my point of view, I have to say, it's sometimes a bit hard to explain it to users, because you have multiple windows where you can adjust so many different features and imaging parameters that some of the users sometimes get lost in this huge variety because some people just say or think that they have to uh, adjust every single parameter but in, in principle it's a very easy to use and handle software because you can just set up your imaging parameters once and if you're going to do this, like something like screening related or you want to image with the same parameters again you just save this setup once and next time you're coming you can upload it and, and use it again so you don't always have to readjust it. So it's just more than giving more um, about giving the right guidance to the user. Yeah, yeah. So it's I mean it's always the same. You, the more flexibility you have, the more you can adjust. And you don't have to, so I, I just have the impression that some of the people get a bit lost in this huge variety and huge flexibility. But it, it works very nicely and we are very happy that we have this flexibility. So just what are your experiences with Leica Microsystems as a collaboration partner? Well, I um, I am actually very happy that I, I was able to collaborate a lot uh, especially concerning uh, the software because we, we had our own uh, application where we had to also find objects um, online and uh, classify them or segment and classify them and detect particular structures or cells and uh, Leica just gave us the possibility to do this online in a different software and to feedback um, the XY coordinates and then go into a deeper resolution. Okay, thank you very much.